you know, have the winning design when we come back, you, you're going to get a gift card to the bookstore. So 10, no, what did I say? Noon time by next Wednesday. If you want to submit a design to Rick SCG at rick.edu, that would be cool. If not, you're going to get stuff with what I come up with. Um, let's see. What else? Um, got some dates. Again, I see this agenda and it's just my executive board. Um, you guys are, per the bylaws, required to submit one resolution in the entire academic year. Um, and I think only a handful of you have done that already. So if you've done that already, thank you. If you haven't, that's your job. The, and like I said last week in my Issues of Parliament members, there are several things on this campus that could be resolved and brought to our attention and everybody made aware of. There's at least one person in everybody's constituency that has a problem. You need to go out and find that person and write that resolution. And then follow up with the resolution because even if you resolve something, it doesn't just get done automatically. And then the final announcement I have is um, hopefully everybody's coming to the holiday party that Dion and her committee have been working very hard on. It's next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. at Fellows. Um, I believe the RCP date's already passed. Yeah. But regardless, I hope that everybody has a really nice holiday and that concludes my announcement.
something that I'm sure will bring discussion later on in life. The timeshare, <laughs> we're announcing to all students that student community government owns a timeshare and it is available March 9th through the 16th, Saturday to Saturday, which is the week of spring break. It's located at Loon Mountain in New Hampshire for $700 for the week. Interest must be expressed and payment must be received by February 1st, 2013 at noon time. If you have any questions, please email me at treasurer at ncgwf.edu or call me at 456-8430. Or if you know my personal cell, call me baby and small raise me. Um, <coughs> budget packets. Organizations should pick up their budget packets between December 3rd and December 7th. If your packet is not picked up by noon time on the 7th, your organization will be considered not compliant and you will be excluded from the budget hearing process for the 2013-2014 year, and you don't want to do that. So that's why this reminder is here. Um, there will be a budget budgeting seminar on January 25th at noon time. That's a Friday. So I'm hoping that most people who are or treasurers and or presidents will have time to come talk to me. Um, I'm hoping that my new comptroller at the time that will be their first meeting and experience with officers, but it's gonna be a lot of information and we're gonna try to do as much as possible. So if any of you are members of organizations and have questions about budgeting and how to budget effectively, please contact me because so far, uh, SCG has been doing a pretty good job. Shooting my phone here. Um, reminding all organizations that withdrawal slips are due by 10 a.m. on Tuesday, uh, December 11th. If they are turned in after the deadline, they will be processed in January when the office reopens. And I just want to say that I'm looking forward to a healthy debate tonight and hopefully that we don't chat. And I conclude my announcements with that. Thank you, Treasurer Jay. I'll move on to my announcements. I have a few leads. First one here is a uh, standing late lead for uh, next semester. Dear members of parliament, due to my class obligations, I have class till 8 p.m. on Wednesdays next semester. Is it possible if I could stay on parliament? I've been faithful to every meeting except the last week with the work. If you could accept this, I would really appreciate it. I want to stay on parliament and be a part of this wonderful family slash community. Thanks. Ray Camacho, New Hall, C2. Second motion. Second. From Deputy Speaker Brian Beckenport, second from, I believe, Representative Lima. Any discussion? With no further discussion, all those favor of approving the lead, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. No. We have one no from Treasurer Jay. Aye. Any abstentions? And obviously, Ray Camacho, same. And the lead passes. So we're now move on to tonight's uh, lead. Um, this is the early lead. Dear Mr. Speaker, I would like to request an early lead for the meeting tonight, November 28th.
mean, I already know that there are two people who have suggested the same suggestion. Um, is there anybody else other than those two people who have suggestions as to what to change the policy? Or does anybody need any have any questions specifically about the policy that we, that we read last week that they didn't have last week? Because I gave you guys a whole two weeks to read the policy, refresh your memory, if anyone wanted to come <laughs> up with that. Sorry. Um, but just to remind everybody, just briefly, we wanted to change the policy to kind of put a stipulation on revenue and how it could be used for reallocation. Um, the way it's originally written was not satisfactory to, I'd say at least a two thirds of us. We'll go with a two thirds. I'll go with two thirds. Um, and so I asked for a solution, and there was only one solution provided. So I'm going to offer it and see how Parliament feels about the solution. Um, I'm going to word it in the accurate wording, and that was a little bit of a. I'm, I'm, I'm going to word it correctly. Um, if you guys agree with this, then I'm going to make a friendly amendment to that paragraph that's in question, which is about it's the third paragraph of an organization wishes to use funds from Line 501, etc. So I will read the change. these reports 
reports and this information sheet is important because I don't think there's a perspective when you guys don't have things like this to base your knowledge off because not everybody knows the funding policies of Miami funding policies are different. So <laughs> um, now on to the rest of the changes. Um, I don't have anything for the rest of that paragraph. Um, I went over all those changes. Um, don't think there's anything else on this page. So page 11 is done. So is everyone, is anyone in opposition to anything on page 11?
use that stall all the time. Don't really know when it started. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know what I saw. So, uh, what do we agree? Second floor, what, up one floor, like across from the Bar Languages Department? Yeah, no, across like, from, yeah, across yeah, something like that. It's like the thousand floor. No, no, no. <laughs> we, we have, we, you know, as soon as we see that stuff, we call a visit the plant, they come over and hang it right away. We, well, and in this case, we reported it to campus police because some of the graffiti was very um, racially and ethnically derogatory, basically um, putting down a number of different protected classes, and I, I think it had some sort of vague threat of, you know, they should all die or, or something like that. So, it, you know, um, graffiti is obviously very immature <laughs> at this age, and, uh, you know, and it's just, it's hard for me to imagine. 17, 18, 15, who knows who's doing it, but I, you know, I got to imagine that some individuals who are doing it are probably adults, right, 18 years of age or older. And, um, uh, and, and then, of course, it's particularly disturbing, I think, when you see stuff that is derogatory towards um, particular uh, protected classes, because, you know, you sort of wonder what, as individuals see that, and I don't know how long that graffiti was up, seen those derogatory remarks about sort of themselves and maybe you know what's what goes through their mind if, if, if their thoughts about Rhode Island College as an inclusive uh, uh, in institution so you know my my report is one just to I think inform the body of that uh, development that I uh, recently found out about but also to ask for your help in any way that I don't know how you could address that, that issue, but I think, you know, uh, whatever student government can do to be persuasive, to have other individuals on this campus who see that sort of stuff, uh, one, report it, if, uh, whether they're just sort of reporting it after the fact, or if, if they're uh, witnessing the person, somebody doing it, to make sure that they notify campus police right away so that we can get them involved and hopefully uh, catch, catch the culprit, and to also send a message to, you know, the entire student body that, uh, you know, here at Rhode Island College, we don't accept that uh, behavior that is not really part of what it means to be a Rhode Island College student and what it means to be part of this community. And we value uh, all individuals and we're not gonna let uh, people run around and uh, threaten or, or put down uh, individuals who are different from themselves. Second piece is uh, many, many of you know by now. You can follow me on Twitter at Team Students Rick R I C. Thank you. How many of you know that? I many of you. Oh, oh, I right. yeah, a lot of followers. You, know, so you didn't follow me back though. <laughs> <laughs> First thing, um, Vice President Costa, that was a great resolution that was very well written, and I don't know, it, I, I noticed that myself, but I never thought twice about it, so you brought up a really good point, and it takes a lot to come here the night after a service, you know, like my uncle passed away a couple weeks ago, so seriously, it speaks miles to your character that you're here. Good on you, you're awesome, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Um, to Kyla's point, President Ekia's mm -hmm. point earlier, sorry I'm old school. <laughs> Um, with regards to all these resolutions that could happen for next semester, if you didn't write them down already, if you're not sure, fortunately they're sitting right here in your email because our minutes, um, Mayor Stahoyak has so graciously compiled Kyla, the President Pecky's list, and so it's right there in your minutes, so if you want to pick one and email, I'm sure she'd be very happy to help you draft one, especially if it's your first time in Parliament. Welcome aboard. <laughs> um, so it's the last meeting before the holidays. Um, see you guys next week. Um, and I'll see you next semester as well, you know, 
barring Armageddon. And so, <laughs> um, the only other thing I have is that my, my this is a little bit personal, my thesis is in the process of IRB approval. If approved, I'll be needing to survey 150 to 200 working adults. Um, for my working adult, it should be over the age of 18, work at least 20 hours a week on average for a period of time sufficient that you could identify yourself as that class. So I'll just be, I'll be sending an email to Rick SDG asking if anyone's interested. Um, there is no obligation. If you say no, it's cool. If you say yes, it's cool. I'm not going to be selling your information. There will be no way to trace it back to you. But just know that if it's coming, and I, I need to get 150 personal people I personally know to do this, and we all know how hard that is to do to get 20-somethings to do something they're not getting paid for. There's no food involved. <laughs> or booze if you're 21. So I would just really appreciate it. I'll be sending that to my administrative friends as well because I promised the IRB board I wouldn't be using the Providence College community at large, but I didn't say anything about my massive rank network. <laughs> 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 uh, and finally, um, with regards to networking, um, we saw like how easy that was to give them a tip. You know, if you know somebody and you know, and you meet someone who's looking to connect with somebody who's similar to those qualifications, just offer to help them out because that's really what Rhode Island College Network is all about. You know, the C in Rhode Island College is for connecting. So, um, <laughs> so if you have somebody you know, like a relative, a friend, a professor, somebody in a certain field that might be able to help them with an internship, you saw the power of that conference. The, somebody got an internship at Disney, and how cool would that be to intern at Disney? Um, so just shoot them an email, offer to help, and someday they'll pay it forward. Someday it'll be your turn, and somebody will help you out. And that's what makes the world around it. It makes Rick awesome. It makes all of you awesome. And makes so, with that being said, I'm all done. Thank you very much. We move on to appointment resignations and vacancies. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, obviously, we have a resignation in our top 12 position. Congratulations, Mr. Santeri. Um, but that also means we have an open position on the Finance Committee for Student Wellness. So, we have one field. We have, well, we have three jobs on the Finance Committee. So, that being said, I'd like to appoint Kevin Martin to Commissions and Services as well as John Moyes. Um, he's non parliamentary um, I would like to appoint Jordan Day to the Special Committee on Academic Advising, and I'd like to appoint Francesca Rodriguez to the Campus Tour Advisory Committee. And that's it. Okay, all well, the appointments are separate, and then we back. Board, please issue the following number, please raise your right hand if you They only have three. Okay.
obviously you represent our firm. Yeah. 